Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of Zillia. This time brought to you in ultra deep voice. Just like I thought I would, I, I, I have flown back from Fort Lauderdale, I am back in my apartment, I have my normal recording setup, this is great. This also means that the game should run perfectly well, there won't be any weird lag spikes going on, because I'm not using a crappy laptop that can't quite keep up with what I'm doing. It's fantastic. I, and just like I thought, I was like, I don't actually remember what the plot was. But then, hey, there's a sub-event. We gotta get to the old Bacall mine. We do. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that was the event. Wow. <laughs> that's 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 hilarious right there. I, I I enjoyed that. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna run through the field. There's the fog. Oh, I can't fast travel. Because I never, I never went into the Bacall mine and survived. <laughs> Whoops. That's, that's a monster. That's what that is. That's a monster. If you guys want to know what a monster looks like, it looks like that. And there's a chocolate parfait in the treasure chest. That's, I, I know I make a comment about that every single time I come across it, but it's it's so amusing to me. It's just this there's this very perishable like um I don't want to call a parfait a baked good. Wow, that guy was all about um, dying. Get him. Let's go. I'm not wasting. Time to get serious. That, I actually thought he was dead. I stopped pressing the button, and then I'm like, "Oh, punch, punchy, punchy, punch, punch." Because yeah, these guys are no longer anywhere close to a threat to me, so I'm definitely not wasting my um, gauge on them. I might, I might use it if there's a some sort of boss encounter inside the mine, but I'm definitely not doing it here. I got an herb. Good thing we kept all those H's. Haha. You have no chance. Make your time. It's a really good thing these guys never learned how to jump. Got it. Well, here we go. Now, these guys were always a pain before. Yeah, let's go! Roger. Uh, Igneous crush! Yeah. Try light! Kill here! Torrent impact! Relax! Uh, I'm ready! Uh, Onward! I'm ready! Sun is roar! Well, Strike. they definitely can't survive this. Uh, Final Fury! I'm stronger than I look! That is definitely, that is the appropriate win quote for that encounter. These guys are like, didn't we used to beat this guy from one side of the room to the other? And they just sort of walked in here and wiped the floor with us. This is not okay. But they won't be smart enough not to try and fight me, will they? Nope, they will not. So we have to come in here and find something for Leia. And we are also... there. I think there's some brigands in here as well. These look like the brigands. Wow. No no discussion. Sharing is caring. this? All that training's paying off. God dang it. I only got to come in just long enough. I mean that's the problem. I, I would like to use different people a little bit. But here here's the big problem I have. Hi! Um, I set this up quite specifically because under the assumption that Leia and um, Leia and Elise would always be in my party because they have all of the guards. They have light guard and dark guard and fire guard and all that because those are shared skills. And so as long as I am, you know, linked with either you know one of the two, actually I live with Mila a lot, don't I? So I guess it doesn't actually matter. Now that I think about it, I realize that my reason for never getting to them out of the party is Belonky. Because I don't actually follow my own advice. Yes, I said Belonky. It's a word. So. Wow, what is wrong with this guy? This guy is really, really interested in whatever's under that rock. 
Now he's really, really interested in me. But he won't have any of this. And he really doesn't want any of this. If the last two encounters have taught me anything, it's that the Vakali Mine is no longer a dangerous place for me. Hi, cat butt. Alright, anything up here? A super rare and dangerous guy's up here. As well as Little Boy Man. Little Boy Man. With a, convenient, with a convenient exclamation point. These must be the machines Dr. Mathis was hiding. Marna will be walking in no time with this. Well, you didn't hide them very well, did you, Dad? Wait, those are Spyrex. Soren, get away from those! Huh? But I need these. No, you need to improve through, like, hard work and perseverance, not through cheating with technology that kills things. I said get away! It's dangerous! No way. Do Spyrex react to loud noises? Like, <laughs> I get that they can do that, but why would they just randomly explode right now? I'm impressed you could anticipate that. I am too. I don't know how she did it. I just remembered my old accident. That was how I got hurt when I was a kid. Jude made, yelled at me, yelled around me, and then they exploded. I was playing with the Spyrex in the docks room when it blew up, like that one did just now. That was how you got injured. Why did Dad have something so dangerous? And why did he just now hide it in the mine? I have to assume it was just now because the that case is intact. Oh no! No way! It's not my place to tell you. You'll have to ask Derek yourself. You you hadn't already figured that out? Come on, Jude. An interesting G Dr. Mathis' name is Derek. You're the one who hid those Spyrexes in the old Vakal mine, aren't you? Why did you have them in the first place? Because I'm not from here. I came to Riza Maxia from Olympias 20 years ago. Interesting. I remember someone in comments had mentioned that they didn't realize this scene with Leia was here. Which makes sense, because I also remember back when I found out that Dr. Mathis was from Olympus, they said that that was missable, and they're really glad I saw it. Which, I'm guessing those must have been the same people, because they didn't realize there was a second opportunity to find out this information. Derek was a passenger on the Zenithra, just like I was. After wandering throughout this world, I decided to settle down here after I met your mother. Did, does she know? Then that would make me... Yep, you're half Olympian. Half Riza Maxian and half Olympian. Although I don't know if those terms actually mean anything, because it is the same world. It's just that Mila raised a barrier and cut half of it off from the other one. <coughs> you know, it's... Although, at the same time, the Riza Maxians have been isolated from the Olympians for 2,000 years, so I suppose it would be kind of like being half Native American, half European. And by the time that... You know, because there, again, was about a 2,000-year difference... Actually, longer than that. Wow. Um, I, I was thinking 2,000 years as in, you know, the year of our Lord. And I'm like, that that had no bearing of when North America split away from Europe. <laughs> so there, there was a lot, lot, lot longer difference. So never mind. My, that whole point just went out the window. So yeah, it's if there was only a 2,000-year difference, it's very, very unlikely that the two had separated enough. That also explains why Dr. Mathis... It, it, it's interesting that he understands enough about spiritual channeling since he can't do it himself, and that's why his techniques are so much different. Although I have to wonder, the Asperixis that he made was not a Spyrex, which is why Mila was okay with it being used. So how does he... Obviously he uses spirit fossils, but man. I mean, he, he must be a massive genius to be able to not let on the fact that he doesn't use... You know, he's like, you would use healer for that? I mean, he really understands the theory of using spirit arts to heal people when he doesn't have access to it. You must be pretty shocked, huh? He shouldn't be. We already knew this. Actually, not really. Hmm. Huh. Didn't see that reaction coming. Is a medical aspirixis just a spyrex, then? That doesn't... That wouldn't make sense. I mean, that's... Every other time we come across a Spyrex, Mila identified it immediately, and also the Asperixis uses a spirit fossil. They're similar, yet very different. Asperixis are modified to channel the mana produced by one's mana lobe. They don't kill spirits, 
But as you know, there's a separate price to pay. Having to endure the physical pain. I only learned that Spyrexes kill spirits after I came to Rizamaxia. Once I knew the truth, I could no longer use Spyrexes in good conscience. Okay, that makes a lot more... I thought that was an odd question, because we already knew it used spirit fossils, which Spyrexes don't require. But Dad, we found another option. If you create a Spyrite, you don't have to worry about Spyrexes killing spirits anymore. A Spyrite? Fade out of explanation. I see. If Spyrites become commonplace, the downside of Spyrexes goes away. But for that to happen, Riza Maxia and Olympias will need to find common ground and work together. You see, going back to my big complaint about Mila's initial plan to bring down the um, schism, at the time that she was sub you know, saying that she would do that, we had no idea that Spyrites were really a thing. I mean, we knew Spyrites were a thing, but we didn't know the science behind them. And so it was just a wild guess that there would be a way to bring the two worlds together with, you know, without having to, because at the time, the only way that Olympias was going to survive was by leeching uh, Riza and Maxia. And the Spirite solution solves it. So at this point in the game, I would support, you know, a plan of bring down the schism. Let's try and find common ground. I didn't support it back then, but now I think it makes sense. That will take a great deal of time and effort. Neither the pain of physical therapy, nor the effort required for mutual understanding are easy to endure. <laughs> I could be in agony, or I could sit in a boardroom and talk to people. God damn it. There is always a cost required of any major undertaking. That much is true, no matter which world you're from. Yeah. I want to try physical therapy. It's also interesting that Jude never explained why he wasn't surprised. I mean, I know why he shouldn't be surprised, but I have to assume this scene is written for even if you had not seen the other scene. I don't want Soren running off and getting himself hurt because of me. He very nearly did. I don't know how he made it that deep in the cave. That cave is fucking hard. That's great. Soren, make sure to support her, okay? I know. Don't worry. I've got this. I've made up my mind. Leia. I'm so sorry. If I had only stored the Spyrex properly, you would never have been hurt. A little late for that apology, isn't it? I mean, seriously, that was like, what, 15 years ago? Actually, no, she's probably not over 20. It's fine, really. If I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have never gotten to know Jude. <laughs> I'll endure any physical pain if I get to hang out with Jude. I know that's not what she means, but God, it sounded like it. Certainly not well enough to fill a hundred pages of notes about him. Mila! What are you talking about? Nothing! <laughs> oh, that was the notebook she left behind. Never mind. That was just... girl talk. You, you can't use that as an excuse every time you say something. Okay, now will actually going back to Leia's house do anything? Because that, that was probably her scene. I'm not sure we'll get anything else from her parents. And it looks like we will not. I'm not surprised, because we just got a pretty involved scene with Leia. So I, I, I don't feel like I was owed another one. So, back to Sherylton. Because Sherylton was originally where I was going to go after LaRond, But then Leia had to come in and be like, I've got a scene! Well, this was not the right interest to come in. Remember that naturalist who was researching changes in spirit climbs? I do! Although I had forgotten about him. Ah, yes. Perhaps he's completed his research. Yeah, we should go visit him back at the Central Plaza. That is true. That was an ongoing... I do like how there are some of them you just have to go to a place in order to be reminded of, hey, we should check this out. Because I had actually forgotten that he was a thing. Isn't he... No, I thought he was right there. Oh, he moved slightly. I don't feel like he was this far in before. Oh, uh, hello there. I've got the results of the examination data. Hello there! So the art we used at Bermia Gorge came in handy, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, now, after reviewing all of the data... With a fine-toothed comb? If you don't do it with a fine-toothed comb, it's cheating. 
I have determined that there is a clear link between spirit art usage and nearby spirit climb changes. Well, that's not really surprising. As the scale of spirit art usage grows, the changes in the climb become more pronounced. So does that mean we have to try and control what arts everyone is using? Because that would be very difficult. So the recent topographical changes in Bermia Gorge are due to the increased spirit art usage in Sheraton. That's right. I saw the same kind of data with Fenmont's expanding night climb as well. Interesting. So you can stage an almost, like, ecological warfare just by making your city use more spirit arts than the city you're fighting and trying to expand your climb into their territory. Although I have to assume that you eventually run into a, um, like, oh, what is it called whenever you get less and less, um, diminishing returns? Because eventually, you know, your climb will be out so far that, you know, just casting basic heal spells are not going to affect things. At our current usage scale, we should only see minor alterations. But, if we keep developing new spirit arts, we may be facing irreversible changes to our spirit climbs. Like the whole world going dark? That is a remote possibility, yes. That's okay, the light's overrated. I got sunburned in Florida, you guys. So even if we stay inside the schism, there's a chance that Reza Maxia could end up just like Olympias. Well, that's not really the same as going dark. I guess even spirit arts have their drawbacks. That is interesting. Although, releasing the schism isn't going to help with that, necessarily. It all depends on how we use them. Just like any other tool. If all we seek from spirit arts or spyrex is to maximize convenience, then of course we'll see repercussions. I agree. But at least this news comes at the right time. Yeah, if we open the schism and reshape the world, surely human awareness will be reshaped as well. Because humans are awesome. The question, of course, is in what way. But nothing will change at all if we don't act. That is a great life lesson to take away from this. Acting is always better than passiving. You're right. For better or worse, this is the path we've chosen. Okay. And now the reason I thought I was coming here was to go hang out with Marcel. Cat! Cat, when I tap you on the butt, that means stop standing there. Not take a step and then just continue standing again. My cats are so not okay with leaving me alone right now. Whoa, what's going on here? Um, I was gone for like a week down in Florida, and they are just like, oh my gosh, never going to let you leave the house again. Lady Drissel, how much longer until the roads are reopened? At this rate, we won't be able to stay in business much longer. Well, there's a war on. What do you want? Please, everyone calm down. Actually, that's not really true. The war's kind of over at this point, isn't it? The guards have been shaken by all the instability. They've retreated to Fort Gondala and put it on lockdown. I've been trying to reach the military headquarters, but I haven't been able to establish contact yet. Oh, do you want me to go knock on Fort Gondala's door? If there's one people, person they will listen to, it's actually... Just, I don't even have to do it through intimidation. I can just be like, hey, Rowan's the, like, head of the army, kind of. Oh, I do have to wonder how much the Finmont command structure really matters. Even though I also kind of feel like Gaius would be like, yeah, whatever, listen to him. Because Gaius doesn't... In, uh, unless it's in relation to his plan for Olympias, Gaius actually kind of seems okay with me. We don't have time to wait. Our losses are already catastrophic. Who cares about your losses? There's lives at stake. If we don't do something soon, Sherilton will be doomed. I... I'll do something. I promise. Dude, it's one trade route. Start using the ports. Come on. If only Lord Klein were still here. Uh, stop bullying Drissel! <laughs> Ellie, Rowan, you're all here. We couldn't help it over here. Perhaps we can be of some assistance. Yeah, you want me to, like, remove a merchant from your presence? No. This is something I need to handle myself. It's my duty as Klein's successor. Your determination is laudable, but you are slightly mistaken. Not you two! <laughs> I know I'm not capable enough, but I still have to try. We know you're doing your best, my lady. We do. Okay, none of their, like, lips are moving. However, this isn't just about business anymore. 
Actually, wait, maybe the old guy behind you. I didn't notice him for a second. Because he looks different. With the roads shut down, there are people who are struggling merely to survive. Okay, and? No, Lord Klein also could not wave his hands and make the roads reopen. We get that it's a big deal, but you can't just throw that at Drizelle's feet. You're not touching your beard. Then it seems our only option is to invade Fort Gondola. <laughs> wow, I was kidding when I said that. But what about the golems that protect it? I thought they were invincible. Well, they were back when we went there originally. I'm pretty sure the four can take them yes. down. Within the right spirit, climb a golem's defense power is absolute. However... In the wrong spirit, climb. Their defensive power would be diminished. But well, correct. And we now know of a way to change a spirit climb ourselves. So if we use a booster like they did at Fezabel Marsh, we stand a real chance at victory. I still feel like a better solution is just to walk up and say, hey, I'm in charge of the Finmont military. Open the fort. <laughs> you know, it's the, even if that's not true, I'm pretty sure they would believe him. So if we just need a booster, why not use the same one we used at Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid it was swept away by the marsh flow. What about Tipo? Tipo is a special type. I'm afraid we couldn't use him for this. Oh, are we going to go back to where Elise was um, created and get one? Because we have to go there anyway. We'll need to find a different booster. I'm so sorry to have failed you. You should be, Tipo. Step it up. Wait, Mila, remember when they captured Tipo at Fort Gandala? That's right. Noctical was conducting booster experiments right there at the fort. There should be plenty of boosters within its confinements. Oh, nope. Two different places. And if we can get our hands on one, we can take out the golems. I still feel like the four should be able to overwhelm the golems' defensive stuff. So the key that we need to break into the fort is hidden within the fort itself. Oh dear. We certainly have our work cut out for us. We'll be going there anyway. This way we kill two birds with one stone. Four birds. But I can't expose you all to danger, just for the sake of my city. Who asked you? Just kidding. You're mistaken again. Your determination should be used precisely for that purpose. Lady Drissel, each of us has our own role to play. For a governor, it's showing your people the right path, and taking responsibility for those who walk it. You're... you're right. Now, Lady Drissel of House Cheryl, we await your order. <laughs> This is what you need to say. Now say it. Very well. As the new governor, I hereby ask you to retake Fort Gondala. Man, guys is going to be so not happy with us. For the good of Sherylton. Yes, my lady. Leave it to us. It must be really nice to have friends that are basically like one-man armies. <laughs> Because it is, it's like, hey, you know what, um, there's this fort in the way, can you guys just go level it? And, we, okay, we can't quite level it, but we can basically level it. <laughs> really, guys? Why would they have guards out if the golems are functional? Yeah, can't we just go up and talk to them and say, hey, open the fort, please? No one is able to feel fully secure once fear has overtaken them. This should work to our advantage. Perhaps we can convince them to tell us where the boosters are kept. Devious! Do this right and we'll be done in a flash. Come on, Jude. Um, that's, that's not, that's not... Use your convincing fist. Deactivate the golems this way, you know. Who said anything about deactivation? We're going to destroy them. You're kidding, right? You're talking to the Lord of Spirits, kind of. Jokes were never my strong suit. Uh. Would you be so kind as to tell us where the boosters are kept? This is not how you... <laughs> they... They should be in control room 02. What kind of a soldier are you? There wasn't even torture involved. Do we know where that is? It's a spare control room located opposite from the one we visited earlier. Got it. Let's go.
Like, do I just walk in the front door? Let's sneak into Fort Gondala and try to find a booster. Well, that is the plan. That seems to be our only hope of defeating the golems. So there's the golems. So, control room O2. Is there a way, like, can I see a map? Place. I don't feel like this is the place I want, though. Does this place have a name? Is this a named place? I don't remember this at all, which probably means it was like right towards the end. I really just want a map, to be honest. So I seem to remember there was one that you could access, but dang it, there's people outside that keep wanting to hurt me. And that is very, very, very non-efficient for trying to find... Huh? Stop trying to kill me! Huh? South floor... Huh? Okay, then let me try... It's opposite where we went before. Hey, there's treasure chest here. Ooh, it's a box. Oh, that guy caught me. I'm really trying to spare their lives. I am doing my best. I got your back. Oh, a piece of cake. You know what? Yeah, let's let, let's switch the party out. We've been using this party for a really long time. Control room O2, warehouse O1. So it's somewhere here. Why can't you why can't you just bring it up so I can see it? There's something across the way right there. Uh -huh. All I see over here is a treasure box. Well guys, I'll uh -huh. be back when I find it. I will guard you from incoming artillery. Nice one. A fantastic victory. That's warehouse 01. Elevator, I think. Control room 2, okay. So this is I I actually went into control room 1, just by pure accident. And yeah, I didn't cut out, I found it too quickly. Here we go, boosters. Ah. This is indeed the same type of booster that was used at Fezabel Marsh. If we can use this to change the spirit climb, the golem's defensive power should plummet. Kind of like a golem inhibitor. Hey, a golem inhibitor! What? Do you even know what that means? It, it means they're wearing a bib! Not a clue. So how do we use it? Leave that to me. I will leave that to you, Rowan. Hey! Very well. Then let's crush some golems. Crushing all the golems underneath the boots. The golems should be guarding the gate to the main passage. Oh, I saw them. Now we shall put an end to them. 
Wow, Mila thinks she's an action hero. Last action hero! I, I knew that wouldn't work. I don't know why I came down here. Like, I'll take the other exit! I'll conveniently forget the other exit doesn't work. Wasn't there a guy down here before? Attack! He went upstairs. And he is way too slow. Although at the end at the end he should be glad he's too slow because he has no chance. You know, he this is me being merciful towards him. Two golems dead ahead. And dead behind? And two more behind us. Hey, it's efficient. Four golems at once. Truly a rock and a hard place. No, it's four birds with one stone. They've saved us the trouble of hunting them down. <laughs> it's impossible to get discouraged with Mila around. Agreed. We're much stronger than we were before. Let's That's very this. true. You said it. On it. Activating the Golem inhibitor. Let's do this. Guys, run? it's looking mighty tough. It's Rashagal's ultimate defense weapon. It's not something we'd normally stand a chance against. But we might stand a chance now. Keyword, might. We ran away from it. Once, but not now. That's right. It's payback time. I'll help. No, here we go. No breaks. Oh, damn it. This is me not blocking. Good dumb. You're kidding me. Summon forth the pride of the ancients and eruptions. Man, poor Lay is having to really work at this. Hey, I'll break their guard. Boom! Gather forth the light. Let's go, Chipo! We have can end here. Here. Healing I'll help. Circle. Rally the souls and grant us life. Onward! We fought you! All right. Switch out to a slightly better game. Sorry, everyone. All right, bring it on. Rally the souls of this life. Fall. Resurrection. Strike. Die. Don't worry. Not yet. The light. Healing circle. Ow. We brought you. Why are we not? Yeah, all of these. There we go. All right, got behind him. Let's wrap this up. Ready when you are. That's one. Here. I only see two. Have we killed two of them already? I definitely haven't. It can't end here. Yeah, that sucked. I feel funny. Let's go. Resurrection. Not yet. I can't go on. Hey, don't give up. Not bad. Don't worry. 
Go ahead and get her back up. Elise. Okay. All right, bring it on. This one's got it can end so here. God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Resurrection. Not yet. Don't worry. Get back here. How did that hit me? I'll stop them in their tracks. Really it can end here. Ooh, that was close. I don't think so. Don't worry. Let's go. I can't end here. Not yet. Good. Don't worry. Let's go. Resurrection. End here. God damn. Will you guys please stop killing me? That'd be great. Man, we are resurrecting like crazy. Awesome. No, don't Afreet. What happened? How careless of me. I'll help. Watch out, everyone. It's over. Yeah. here. Ruination here. It's over. Okay. Spirit spiral. Okay. Blade torrent. Oh dang! I didn't get the last one off. Yeah. All right, come on. Now I'm behind you. Okay, then I feel like... Yeah, okay, we only fight two at a time. This one's weak to fire, apparently. Let's go. Roger. So I need to know for the future which of these is fire based. Phoenix plunges. Oh, well that's that's what I just did. Awesome. Man, this is a longer fight than I thought it would be. I lost focus. Hey, Energize. don't give up. We got you. You are running low. Go ahead and pineapple chip. Wow, I'm low on those. Thank you. Huh? But I'm ready. That's one. Roger. You here. Torrent impact. Got you, Bo. Sharing is caring. Uh, 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 Let's go, Roger. Here, Torrent Don't keep using that if it's fire based. You all right? I'm here. What happened? How careless of me. We're getting our butts kicked. That's what happened. Not yet. Can I please move? I would love to be able to. Let's go. It can end here. 
What? You, you knocked me out on that? I didn't even know that was a possibility! I thought once the animation started, you were basically safe from it for a second. Flames come forth. Fireball! Not yet! Lie to the horizon. Resurrection! I'm okay! And I can't end here. God damn. Healing circle! So worry! Life bottle her. Leia! I still don't understand how that hits me. I'm okay. Let divine light mend body and mind. Nurse! can't end here. God damn, I hate when I get stunned and I can't dodge. I'll cover you. Come on. Don't worry. I can't even see what he's doing because the other one's in the way. It would be awesome if I could see things. To Holy shit, we died. Watch out. Hang in there. Keep them. It's all oh. demon fast. Let's do this. Okay. Demonic chaos. Sharp Stop current. Over. I'm over. Over. It's over. Go, Keep them. I'm over. Sharing your help. There we go. I was like, please do it. And witness your final demise. Cover his pride. And go, Chief. Sharing is caring. All right. Dark blaze. I'm so sorry. Everyone, stop me. That's one. Got it. In front of death. Are you? I just healed them. Rally the souls and grant us life. Resurrection. Not yet. Dragon shot. Take this. Ready when you are. Pixie circle. All right. Protect me, okay? Now over here. We're back into a problem where I can't actually see what I'm doing. Why did you unlink with me? I'll end up shooting. Finish them off. Dragon! Shut up! Wake up already! Not bad. Dragon! Sharing's a beauty. Gather for the light. That's one! Got it! Inferno dance! Pixie Circle! Ha! Yeah! Terror of Shell! I'm okay! I'm so sorry, everyone! No breaks? Sharing's a view. Rally the Wake up already! Oh, that was a magic attack. Floral Dance! That's one! Got it! In the first dance! Ha! Okay! Gather for the light! You can end here! Go and get us both up. I wish the damn camera would not confuse me. Energize! Pixie Circle! First aid! I'll help! Energize! Revive! Guardian Grove! 
Okay. He's oh, but he's he's getting lower. I thought I knocked him out of that, god damn it. It's just such a bad uh, bad way when you get between them like that. Ready? Got it. Stay on guard. I'm really proud of myself for avoiding that for a second. Here we go. Finish them off. Dragon! Wanna run? I'm ready! That's one! Got it. Inferno death! Okay. Switch this back to Aqua Sweep. Because the last one alive doesn't like fire. Ready? Me, okay. Sharing is caring. Leia, go ahead and use a pineapple gel. Uh, Thanks, no so if she uses it, everyone gets the benefit. Which is something I should have. Ready? Got it. Sharp current. This won't stop me. Don't worry. I'll help. It regards that. Don't worry. It can end here. Take this! Okay, golems. Ready? Got a short current! Bam! Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Finish them off! Onward. Blade Torrent. It can here. I'll help. Blade Torrent. Okay. You here. Torrent impact. Oh, yeah. I've That was close. Yeah, that 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 was a a fight is a thing that that was. We will say that. I need more strength. Just keeps getting better. Not yet. I still need to get better. I'm just getting started. I feel much stronger. You're really coming into your own. Never stop improving. I thought the golems were invincible. How did this happen? <laughs> you messed with Sherilton. Rashikal is done for. Is that all you have to say after holding yourselves up here without permission? You should be ashamed. <laughs> it's extra bad whenever it's kind of your boss that came and busted up your golems. We were doing it for our country. Rashikal's military assets must be protected. Do you truly believe that abandoning the citizens you serve strengthens your country? I... well... Wait, are you Chief of Staff Hilbert? No, but I used to be. 
You all are the military of today. And as such, it is your duty to figure out what needs to be done. Understood. The Fort Gondola Guards will reopen the fort immediately. Thank you. We will resume patrolling the high roads and protecting civilian activities. I kind of feel like we could have started with that. Take care of that. That should be a load off your cell shoulders. And we've made it through Fort Gondola at last. Yeah. What an ordeal. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I have no excuse for my performance. Age must have dulled my combat skills more than I'd realized. Let's get back to Dressel. We have to tell her how great you were. We will, I guess, do that. Even though we're over my time limit, I do think actually fi finishing this um, excursion is worth. Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. I thought I could find orange soup, actually. I always like feel like that's going to be an item, like a quest item somewhere, not just something you go and pick up. I also need to go to the actual item shop at some point, because I definitely need to restock my equipment. Definitely. But you know what? That is not a thing for right now. Right now, we go and we conclude this quest line. You all made it back. Is anyone hurt? Only some pride. We're fine, my lady. As you can see, we couldn't be healthier. Oh, you could be. We kicked ten tons of golem butt! That is probably not actually exaggeration. Oh, I'm so relieved. You were worried about us? Of course. I don't know what I would have done if you had gotten hurt on my behalf. Facing that pain is one of the gravest duties of leadership. It sure isn't easy. Kitty. No, it is not. But as long as you feel pain at the suffering of your people, they will always be there to support you. I'll do my best, just as Klein did. It might be difficult, but we know you can do it. I'm, I'm really glad that Rowan's second arc here. I'm sorry I can't give you the rewards you deserve. Wait, I know. I'll brew up some of my finest tea. <laughs> Come, let's have a tea party. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a finer reward. I could. Throw in some of those little cakes and you've got a deal! Alright. And with that, I'll go ahead and end the episode. Next time we will go, we will rebuy our... I I'll probably rebuy my items off screen and then try and turn on that orange... Cause I'm, I'm sure I've got orange soup I can just buy from the vendor. I always forget about that. But anyway, see you next time, guys.